What's up guys, this is your boy Russian and today we're going to be taking a look at something that is hitting the internet in the last few days and it has to do with the Mandalorian star Gina Carano, you guys probably know her from MMA, we're going to be taking a look on that today on the veteran's point of view. Alright, so, first of all, this issue is not an issue that is new. Uh, what is new is one of her last posts that pretty much mentioned that we need to fix the elections the way they work today. And that she wished that 2020 we could actually work on that type of stuff. Now, a lot of people... Um, went against her, I think a lot of people in their mind, they feel that what she means is we need to recount all the votes of the presidential election, all that stuff. No, I, the way I at least inter interpret that is, yes, we do have a major issue with elections. Um, almost every election we've been having issues like this, and, and that's been for over a decade. We had this issue when Bush went against Al Gore, uh, the whole issue in Florida. So yes, we, we do have to look into fixing mostly so we don't end up in what we have right now in the country where some people are divided, some people saying uh, a lot of things were wrong in the election, that one person should have won, no, the other one won. Uh, and it's not a good climate for a country. It doesn't matter uh, the part that has to do with the government, but people are actually fighting each other over that issue. And yes, we do. We should actually try to work on that. So because of that comment, uh, a lot of people are doing the whole hashtag fire Gina Carano or uh, cancel Gina Carano, all that stuff. So let me just give you guys a little bit of a history lesson so you guys understand why I completely disagree with that. So let's go back. To 1946 and 1947. And if you guys are smart enough and you know a little bit of history, you know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so so basically, uh, what I'm talking about is so back in 46 and 47, a lot of directors and actors is started being uh, called to testify before the House of Un-American Activities Committee. And that had everything to do with the whole uh, communist, uh, who was communist, who wasn't. Uh, but the, the, so a lot of directors and actors got blacklisted on that. That's pretty much what you guys need to know about this situation. But the problem is, a lot of those people, uh, they sometimes had no allegiance with any communist party. But someone did a testimony against them because they wanted names. So those people got blacklisted, a lot of those actors, uh, directors, they just disappeared over time. Now, the reason I'm mentioning that is Hollywood is actually dealing with that right now. So um, we have a lot of actors right now blacklisted because they're in the wrong side of the government. They made a choice that don't agree with what Hollywood is right now. And to be honest, uh, I, I don't even think that any type of employer should be allowed to actually hire people or not hire people because of political allegiance. <laughs> and you probably say, well, Hollywood's not the same. No, it's exactly the same. Those guys get jobs. Just like you get a job in a factory or anything. Now imagine this, you go for a job, your family needs to eat, and one of the questions is, uh, what party do you belong in politics? And I go, well, I'm a, 
I'm a Democrat. And the guy, oh, oh no, you can't work here. I only hire Republicans. I guarantee you're going to sue that company. The same thing as if your job actually fires you because you're the wrong party. But it seems to be okay right now. And one of the things I didn't like I was actually reading is that... Yeah, like one of her posts, uh, some people are actually debating with her and saying, well, no, we're not actually attacking her. We're not bullying her. We're just educating her. Yeah. So people being educated to believe in what others want to. I think it really works well in places like uh, North Korea... Uh, former USSR, it, it did perfect for those countries. I mean, right? And but somehow back in the day, at least those countries, the government. So you can blame the government. But we're trying to do that right now to people. Now I don't care if you're a Republican trying to educate a Democrat or a Democrat trying to educate a Republican. You're wrong. I mean, people should be allowed to have their own opinions, and their opinions should not actually dictate if they have a job or not. I mean, sure, if you think that murder is okay, that may be an issue. But your beliefs? What are we going to do next? Uh, yeah, you cannot, you cannot enter in the bar uh, if you're the wrong race, wrong religion, um, political affiliation. Wrong sex. I mean, yeah, women shouldn't be allowed in here anymore. Come on, guys. So, I'm just saying, if we start allowing people to dictate if someone should have a job or not because of issues, we've seen that with Johnny Depp. I mean, yes, their relationship's messed up, but by everything that's been shown, he wasn't the only one acting this way, but he's the one that is out of work right now. Um, and I think people are feeling that they have this power to fire that person, fire that person. And, you know, companies, if they can, they just, oh yeah, that's okay. We're just going to do because some people are telling us to do it and it's become controversial. I think it's much more controversial that you fire a woman who is actually a strong woman that speaks her mind and people try to tell her that she's not allowed to think the way she wants. So, you know what 1940s called? They want their ideologies back, all right? Um, so, I don't know. People are doing cancel Gina Carano, uh, fire Gina Carano. I would say, new hashtag, don't fire Gina Carano, hashtag, don't cancel Gina Carano. All right? Hey, guys. My opinion. Go to her Instagram. Go to her Twitter. Show some love. Show some support. Because, to be honest, nowadays, people are very easily go and actually complain about something instead of showing that they support the person. So, let's try to do something different today, all right? And, if you guys already don't know, do the same for the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to give me a like, leave me a comment, tell me what you think. Do you think I'm wrong to support Gina Carano? Do you think that the things she said really damaged your life so much that she should be fired? Don't forget to hit the notifications bell, and I'll be seeing you guys next week.